apparently black people are stupid. Or that's the perception. Although black people in the United States have had more geniuses per capita than any other racial group. That includes black male geniuses and black female geniuses. And that right there is a much larger stat than the other group too. We have had far more black female geniuses than any other racial group. With all of these geniuses running around, why is it that black people keep voting Democrat? Huh? And welcome to the Shigama Live Show. Now, I'm libertarian. I have studied libertarianism, studied the histories, studied the party platform, studied the philosophy, and come to, to the conclusion that out of all the parties that there are, the Libertarian Party is the black party. But why is it that blacks aren't just running to the Libertarian Party? Oh, because the white, leftist, communist media has said that libertarians are racist. And because black people are stupid, all you have to do is call somebody a racist to black people. Hey, black people, those libertarians, they're racist. Better not go join that party. Huh. Let's see. Which party out of all the parties in the United States, and there are many, there are about, what, 20? Something like that. Out of all the parties in the United States, which party has been more racist than any of them? Oh, that's right, the Democratic Party. And they still are the most racist party today. The KKK always and will ever be Democrat. There has never been a KKK Republican group because the KKK is an actual terroristic arm of the Democratic Party. Oh, I, I know that you're taught all sorts of <laughs> ridiculous stuff like uh, the KKK is Republican or the KKK is conservative. They're not conservative whatsoever. Conservative means that you work hard. The entire idea of the KKK is that the white man is supreme and all other people need to work for the white man and hand over their riches and their labor and what have you. Or in the case of Jews and homosexuals, they should just be shot dead. Oh, oh, and, and let's not leave out the fact that the KKK is super duper Christian. Oh, black people. <laughs> I mean, you are pretty stupid. Oh yeah, I mean to call you stupid. I, I'm, I mean it. I mean it to hurt you so bad that you actually go look up everything that I'm saying. KKK, Democrat, Christian. These are the same people that beat, terrorized, cut off the genitalia, arms, legs, burned you at the stake to force you to be Christian. Oh, I, I, and I'm not talking about these idiot hotep people who are talking about. Oh no, 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 no! Jesus was black. No, 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 no! The Israelites were black. I'm not talking about what you perceive or what you want to perceive. The reality today, 2016, Christianity is a white religion perpetrated by white people, formulated by the Roman Empire to go against the African religion of the same exact story, the same exact story. And even the Old Testament that the white Jews perpetrate is not their story. 30% of it is African stories, Sumerian stories. These are all 30%, by the way, Persian stories. 30, 30, 30, right? And there's a 10% somewhere in there of some, more, more than likely is Asian philosophy, which came from Africa to begin with. But it doesn't matter that black people were the originators of all of that information. That doesn't matter. Just like Miley Cyrus twerking and the white world thinking that Miley Cyrus invented it, twerking is now a white thing. Oh, I know there's all the thousands and thousands of videos of black ratchet black women and men and homosexuals twerking all over the place and, and a father beating the, the snot out of his, his girls and, and, uh, and the ex-wife getting him thrown in jail for beating the, the girls on camera. I applaud the hell out of that guy. And, and if I could find him, I'd give him 20 bucks uh, because that's what's needed. We don't need black women coming against the father who's chastising. The, uh, and, and I don't care if you don't believe in beating. 
plenty of people grew up with being beaten and came out perfectly fine. Came out presidents of the United States, the most powerful person in the in the in the country. Huh? But black people are stupid. All you have to say is, "Oh, libertarians are racist." Oh, the Tea Party is racist. Well, let's look at the Tea Party. Started by libertarians. Then when they tried to uh, spread it across the country, and it was all about fiscal, 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 fiscal. The US government is spending your money like drunken sailors and then asking for more when there is no more. And the whole asking for more is a lie to begin with because they don't even take the money that they get from you and fund anything, any new projects. They take the money that they get from you and, and give it to the Rothschild Central Bank. And, and it's not even the Fed. It's now the Central Bank, which is the entire conglomeration of central banks across the globe. This is why Gaddafi was murdered, because he didn't have a central bank, and he was talking about uh, selling oil in gold and formulating an African monetary base on gold. But you all keep listening to the other oh, Republicans are racist. It would be a good shift if black people in the United States at least shifted to the to the Republican Party. If you know anything about politics, here's politics. Here, here I was I was thinking of, uh, you know, remember I did that baseball video a couple of days ago. I was thinking about going to a baseball game and buying up three rows of seats hiring bodyguards to make sure nobody came into any of the three rows just so people could see my power. Now, why is that powerful? I want you to imagine if you went to a game and you saw in the VIP section, three empty rows and a guy sitting in the middle of those three empty, empty rows with bodyguards standing on the end, making sure nobody went into the rows. Standing, not sitting, standing. You would wonder who that guy, oh, oh my, who is that? Oh my God, is, is he a king or something? Is he is from Saudi Arabia or something? Is, is this, right? The power of something is the ability to take it away from somebody else. That is true power. The ability to not do business with black people is the ultimate power of white supremacy. No, we're not going to hire you. No, we're not going to rent to you. Wait a minute. So you're saying that you are so racist that you are going to make sure that you do not hire a black person, no matter how profitable that black person would be to hire in your business. You are so racist that you are going to refuse to accept green dollars from a black person to rent out an apartment or house from you. That, my friend, is the ultimate definition of racism. That is the ultimate definition. Nothing that the KKK does, burning crosses and uh, terrorizing black people, hanging them from trees and beating them in the middle of the woods, jumping them in, in, in alleyways and stuff like that. That's not racism. That's uh, some uh, very active prejudice, but it's not racism. Racism is a mechanism of power, power. You cannot be racist without power. This is why black people say that they are cannot be racist. In fact, black people cannot be racist. I know a lot of bunch of social justice warriors love to toss out that, that word and the mainstream media tosses out the word like it's candy. Oh, we in this report, we're gonna show you how these racist black people, wait, <laughs> let me just stop you right there. When's the last time you heard of black people forming legislation to keep white people out of doing something? Oh, black people don't have that power. If black people, this election, all gathered together and voted Republican or Libertarian, it would be the ultimate show of power. Black people, you don't have power and apparently you're stupid. Because what do they say about Republicans? Oh, those Republicans are racist. And let me tell you about Donald Trump. Donald Trump has actually surrounded himself with black people for decades. Do you know who his favorite person on the planet is right now? Omarosa. And she's definitely black. Now, I don't care what you think about Omarosa. She's definitely black. And she's actually very proud to be black. And she said it on more than one occasion. And she said it right to white people's face. And this is why she's hated 
And Donald Trump doesn't see anything wrong with anything that she says because he says this is exactly what men say to men. There's nothing wrong with her. You're just, uh, you have a double standard when it comes to women, a strong woman. Now, I don't, I don't get into that whole strong woman thing. It, it just be a woman. You know what? You can be a lady and say stuff that men said and not be a quote unquote strong woman. I think, I think it's, I think it's counterproductive to call yourself a strong plus woman. You can say strong willed woman, assertive woman. You can say I'm a woman who knows what she wants, but strong woman. Are you a circus freak, uh, sideshow freak? Are you one of those women with the, the big muscles and the beard and you can lift the uh, big uh, round uh, barbell with the, the black globes on either side, <laughs> either side of it? The ultimate show of power would be for black people to vote Republican or, or Libertarian. That would be the ultimate show of power. But we we can't we can't get the white media to stop talking about a white movement that they call the Black Lives Matter. Yes, it's a white movement. It has a sprinkling of black people in it. And uh, the white media make sure that they rush to show you all the black people that are present in any of these little movements. But I'm sorry, I've already, my, my initial video on the Black Lives Matter showed you 100% white people, Black Lives Matter rallies. 100% white people, Black Lives Matter rallies. Nobody in the frame was black, or even for that matter, Latino, if we want to count them as partially black or something like that. Not a, not a drop. It's a white movement started by a Jewish billionaire, George Soros. That's what it is. It's a white movement. Now, what's the purpose of the movement? To, to sow discord. And they are using some Sambo black people to further perpetrate this idea that there is a uh, battle between police and black people. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, honey, but there's been a battle between police and black people forever. And police have been locking up black people forever even during slave days. What do you mean? Black people, uh, sl slaves in jail? Yes, I'm here to tell you black people, slaves in jail. And when they were emancipated, they just ran right through the entire community and just locked, locked them up, locked them up. And, and here's a, here's a funny thing. Before the sixties, there weren't, a, there wasn't a big prison business, but, uh, due to some lovely Democrats, there became this big push to incarcerate black people. And who really was the catalyst for this incarceration? Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton. Oh, she wasn't president. Oh, she was She doesn't have to be president. She supported the policy and actually sp made speeches about it. The war on drugs systematically locked up black people left right and center that's your democrats black people and this is the same uh, woman who said that who called your children super predators hillary clinton of the democratic party and the entire democratic party has been more racist than anything now what did i say black people need to have a show of power Forget Jesse Jackson, Tyler Smiley, Al Sharpton, Louis Farragut. Forget all of those fools. Those fools have led you down into the pit of Hades. Yes, including Farrakhan. Oh, I'm sure he speaks all sorts of lovely, flowery language. And I'm sure he's an outspoken advocate against the white man and the Jew and calls it a, a gutter religion. Well, it's all gutter religion to me. I don't know how black people could be worshiping Islam. That, that, that is right up there with worshiping Christianity. Oh, what does that mean? Oh, that Islam and Christianity promoted slavery and it was used to promote slavery. And Islam slaughtered Egypt, Libya, Morocco, Northern Africa. Islam slaughtered, not Christianity, Islam slaughtered to the point, to the point that there are no longer blacks in a Northern Africa. You have to go to the deep desert to find them. Whereas that was all a black, dark black area. There was no, there was no sub-Saharan Africa or is black in Northern Africa and is white, which is what Arabs are technically Asian, but they're white today. There was no such thing. 
Africa was black, was black, was black, was black. And it's your lovely Islam that slaughtered all of the black people. The Bantu were in Northern Africa. They weren't in Sub-Saharan Africa. The Nubians were in Northern Africa. They weren't in Sub-Saharan Africa. But you're worshiping that, that religion, that false religion that says, oh no, 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 all of these other religions got it wrong. And this isn't really a religion. It's actually a political structure. God doesn't care about your politics, right? All of you agree on that? God doesn't care about your politics. So why in the heck would your religion have politics in it? Why would your religion? Uh, you can't have a religion that says, love your neighbor, please go slaughter him. You can't have a religion say, love your neighbor, but he better be a part of this religion. You can't have a religion religion says there's only one God, but God damn it, I, we're going to go slaughter anybody else who doesn't believe in this religion because God apparently made mistakes. This, this is the Christians. This is the Jews. This, this is, this is all these religions believe this, not just Islam. If you want to call a spade a spade, let's call a spade a spade. How dare Jews say we are the chosen. You're not the chosen anything. There is nothing special about your penis, nor in your vagina. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You're not set aside. You are not set aside. If anything, you're worshiping a demon that would tell you that you're special. Oh, you're special. And here's the kicker. He said that to black people, right? <laughs> the original Jews were black. So how in the hell did these white people come along in Europe, convert to Judaism, and all of a sudden he's talking to white people? No, no. Maybe Farrakhan is right. Maybe it is a gutter religion. And, and this is what I keep telling black people. This is what you have today. It's not what you think it happened uh, 10,000 years ago when there were no white people. And when I said there were no white people, there was no white people to speak of. You were a bunch of, you were, you were in the huts. You were in your caves. You were in your whatever, in your woods, in your forest, dancing around a fire circle. Yes, you were. There are pictures of it. <laughs> I'm sorry, drawings of it. There might be pictures. I, you, you know, I watch those uh, videos talking about people who time travel and have, have cell phones in 1920. And there's actual photographs of people walking around with cell phones in 1920. There are movies from 1920 with people walking around in the background with cell phones. Maybe I've seen some pictures of the Celts dancing around the, the fire pit. And if anybody was talking about, hey, ya, hey, ya, hey, ya, hey, it was probably the, the Celts, right? There was no white people to speak up 10,000 years ago. Oh, I know white people try and try their very hardest to say white is supreme. How do we get around not being around 10,000 years ago when Egypt was flourishing and Saudi, Ar Saudi Arabia hadn't even left the, the peninsula? Yes, there was no Middle East like we know it today. And archaeologists have gone to the Middle East and found absolutely nothing past about two, two, three thousand. Years. And even at the 2000 years ago, Mark, they find nothing was there. There was no structure. There was no civilization there. Oh, I know you've been to told all sorts of stuff in your high school civ class that the first civilization was a Mesopotamia. Uh, no. How is it that the, uh, and of course, the Bible is completely uh, wrong saying that the Jews were in Egypt 2000 years ago when the pyramids were already old at that point and there was no slave labor that was involved in even building the pyramids. Apparently, black people having carpenters, architects, and so forth is unthinkable. Oh, that's right. Um, they want to perpetrate that Egypt was white, but they say black people couldn't have, couldn't have built these pyramids uh, without slavery, but there was no slavery in Egypt. Egypt didn't have slaves. E Egypt had a very structured social system that the Europeans to this day can't even understand. They can't even understand to the point that they will not show in the uh, London Museum the temple prostitutes because they don't understand prostitution. The, they don't understand the whatever the concept. I'm saying prostitutes, prostitutes, and that's not. They were priestesses and they were psychologists. Uh, I guess you would say prostitute because the whole idea of sex in Egypt was very open. It's it was just like going to see a movie, having lunch, having sex with a priestess, and it wasn't just having sex. It was a whole therapy session. And that's why 
the Egyptians were very against the Greeks because they didn't like the homosexuality. They forbid the Greeks. And this was a very big contention between Europe and Africa because the Africans did not believe in homosexuality. Why? Because uh, would you take a look at the Ankh? They worshiped the vagina. It was a gateway into heaven, into the earth, the most powerful gateway that there was because all humanity came through that gateway. Why in the hell would such a high esteem for vagina and childbirth would they allow homosexuality? They did not. They, they, abhor, they hated it. And they forbid Greeks from coming into Egypt for thousands of years. These are black people. And this is the contention that has been going on for thousands of years between Europe and Africa. The Europeans were seen as barbaric, homosexual, lascivious. Go ahead. That's your word for today. Lascivious. Go look it up. Now, in the United States, black people have been so brainwashed that all you have to do is say somebody is racist. Now, the police are racist. Well, you have Latino police, black police. Now, I've told you that they have brainwashed police into thinking that the black man is the highest predator that there is. And it's true. I've heard firsthand accounts by everything from police chiefs on down to just beat cop, right? All you have to do is tell somebody in the United States now that such and so is racist. So libertarians are racist. Republicans are racist. I'm telling you the ultimate show of power that black people can do today is to vote libertarian or Republican as a second why there aren't black libertarians running all or all over the place because the mainstream media which black people somehow believe in has said that libertarians are racist now where they get that from without first saying that hey you have a person running for president who has been actually promoted and endorsed by the kkk hillary clinton embraced the grand wizard and called him the salt of the earth uh, a true american hillary clinton donated twenty thousand dollars to her campaign hillary clinton Donate to their foundation, Hillary Clinton. But the libertarians are racist? When have the libertarians been in power to enact any sort of legislation to be racist? What did I say racism was? It was the ultimate show of power. You have to be in power to be able to be racist. Now, for you idiot people who don't speak English, oh, and I'm not talking about Latinos or Asians. I'm talking about you white Americans and black Americans for that matter, who don't know that Racist has a def definition. Pre prejudice has a definition. Bigotry has a definition. And just plain old hatred has a definition. There's no reason why we have four different words mean the same thing. They're, they don't mean the same thing. They all have their separate definitions. Go look them up. You cannot have a black racist. Oh, you can have a black person be prejudiced against white people. I encourage it. If you are actually for black people, you would do stuff with black people, right? If I'm so prejudiced against white people, that would mean I wouldn't go out and buy Nikes and, and Converse and iPhones and iPads and, huh, right? If I'm so prejudiced against white people, I would start, I'd be buying FUBU or, or whatever, something like that. And I would be, seek out black businesses to only shop there. That's if you truly were black and you truly were for black people and you truly were proud to be black and you truly were wanted black people to succeed black people don't want to see black people succeed you're playing you're paying even these hotep people you're you're playing paying lip service on all of these black women running around with straight hair it looks disgusting to me it looks disgusting i'm sorry I, I grew up overseas where black women wore their hair naturally some of the most beautiful stuff. do you know what it looks like to me when i see a black woman with straight hair and permed straight hair or pressed straight hair it looks ridiculous it looks retarded to me now i don't go around saying that to the average black woman that i meet i try not to scrunch my face up when I see them, but I'm just being honest with you. There should be no reason you would want to emulate white people, the very people who have oppressed you and continually have oppressed you. And yes, there is oppression. And when I say oppression, I'm talking about laws, legislation. I'm not talking about a white person calling you the N word. That is, that's just stupidity. I'm talking about actual laws that say, that say you don't matter. You want to talk about Black Lives Matter? Why don't you start a, a black version of Black Lives Matter and call it something else, of course. Real racism is power. Real racism is legislation, not some peop, somebody putting a white sheet over their head. Black people do the ultimate show of power this election period. Vote Libertarian. Thank you for watching the Shkama Live Show.